All right, so let's continue our link to XML series. So in first part, we have seen how to create an XML file. In part two, we worked on how to add items to an XML file. And in part three, we looked into how to read the file. Okay. Now we are going to continue with the next part, which is part four. Let's call this part four. And it's going to be update. So how to update it? the record in our XML file. Okay, so static void again, as usual. Static void update, let's call this update. Okay. All right, first we're going to need the xdoc to hold our file into memory. So we'll call on xdocument that load and we'll pass in our variable up here copy and paste and next let's pick a target in our file so I'm going to target this last guy here Scarface so I'm going to filter this by the ID and grab it. So, I'm going to create another variable. Let's call this target. Our TGT for short equals xdoc. Okay, we're grabbing our document and then we're saying get the root. And we're telling the root get me the descendants, all your descendants. So inside here, I want the movie, the movie elements, the movie child nodes. So we have three child nodes, one, two, three, okay? So we need this tag, movie tag. So I wanna grab all the movie tags or all the movie child nodes and up here we have um, up until here we have uh, an innumerable collection of x elements now to filter it by id i'm going to need first or default prints inside prints i'm going to create it uh, Temporary variable, this is a lambda expression. Um, I'm going to say this variable, this uh, movie child x element, which has an attribute of ID, and the value of this ID equals equals to three. So if that's true, get me that element. So now it became an X element. Okay, so if I print that out, let's see what happens. Let's target, let's print that out, see what happens. Uh, we didn't call the method, I think. So we need to call our method up here. Run it again. All right, we got our child nodes that we were looking for. Okay, so now I want to change. Well, can't change yet because our child node has another child node, a child node of its own. So now I gotta do the same thing with the title node. So now war title equals target dot first well descendants descendants which title 
which means target can have more than one child nodes, right? So we got to tell which node we are looking for. Um, in, in this case, we really, since we know there is only one, we don't have to. But normally you would say title here. But uh, in our case, we really don't have to put that in. We can just say the first one. We know it's the first one. So this is going to be first or default. Again, if it had multiple child nodes and you want to filter by ID or some sort of value, we could have done that same way. So we grab the target, we've got descendants, title descendants, title child nodes, and we want the first or default, the first row. So let's print that out, see what we get. Uh, title, let's go. Let's run this, see what we have. Okay, we got the Scarface. All right, so now I can say title dot value equals my cousin Vinny. Okay, and let me print out the document. Let's see what we have. All right, so our title has been changed to my cousin Vinny. Um, so that's one way you could do it. The other way, we could have just actually without target node, we could have just no, well, actually. This is tied to this one, so let me comment these two lines. All right, so I'm going to just say uh, bar title equals root dot descendants title this would get me all the title notes okay so if I print this out let me actually comment this one out too I probably can't do it I have to do it for each loop to print that out all right let's do it so let me do comment this one out too let's write a for each loop Right here for each. Since this is a collection of I enumerable, so I'm going to call this um, title nodes in title. Actually, let's change this to titles because it's a collection. So I'm going to say console that right line title node and so we have three title nodes so now I can filter through these I could say filter by name let me remove this one I could say go dot Right after it, the first or default. So again, a lambda expression. So x equals greater than x dot value. Now, so I'm going to grab the name, the title. I'm going to say if it starts with, starts with. I'm going to start with start with SC, so I'm just going to say if it start with SC, I want that node. So that should give me Scarface. Yes. 
let's uh, change this back to title. Now it's a single note. Title. Let's print this out. All right, so we got Scarface. Now again, I could do the same thing. Say title dot value equals my cousin Vinny and print x doc we should get the same result so we got the same result as the other one uh, multiple ways you could do it but um, i think the first way was the uh, way to go uh, since uh, filtering by id and uh, plus we have we have all the movie notes available to us with this one we only have all the title notes available so say if you have another child note to the movie say the year of the movie or things like that then you would still need the parent note so but uh, regardless that's there so i'm gonna uncomment this too okay and uh Let's run this again, make sure it works. All right, so we successfully upgraded, updated the uh, name of our third movie in our list. Okay, so that's update. Uh, um, oh, we didn't update the file, actually, let me do that too. So let's call our save method and go all the way down xdoc dot save xml file okay and that should save the file let's run this again and 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 didn't see that happen. Oh, it did. There you go. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.